So, um, chapter six. We found out in the last chapter that apparently his mom still hates him, and um, does not, is still not gonna blow over about this. So yeah. Um, so now um, he decided to leave his house, like sneak out of his house and go to the woods, and it's kind of getting dark outside. I got out of the dirt and brushed on my pants. This place was still creepy. I continued walking. I heard some more twigs snap behind me. It was probably just another bite. I didn't bother to turn around, and I just kept walking. I made it to the edge of the woods. I found a lake. I love coming here, to think. But I never walked through the woods. There was a road that I used to go down here before. But people started to build on top of it. It was only a dirt road. I took off my shoes and put my feet in the water. It's really cold. I soon, I was soon pushing the lace. I looked behind me and saw my, f saw my friend October. She was standing there laughing at me. Well, hello to you too. I started crawling out of the water. Hey, oh my God, I was following you and you screamed over a bunny. Ha ha. Ha ha. Very funny. Come here. I want to give you a hug. She stopped laughing and started to run off. Hey, get back here! I shouted, chasing her. She shocked her head. I finally caught up to her and tackled her. Okay, you caught me. Now get off me, she whined. Nope, she pouted. I got off her and helped her up. We started walking by the edge of the lake. I took my chance to push her. I took my chance to push her in. She screamed as she fell into the water. I was laughing so hard my side started to hurt. Payback! Payback is a bitch! I said between her laughs. Oh yeah, just wait t until I get you. I took off right in the woods. She climbed up to the tallest tree I could tallest tree she I could find. You're probably wondering, who's October? She's my best friend. I have known her since we were in pre-K with her. I love that girl a lot. We mess with each other like this all the time. Come out, come out wherever you are. You can't run, but you can't you can run, but you can't hide from me. She's saying, walking past the tree I was in. I let her breath, not realizing I was holding it. I looked around. Where'd she go? Found you, she shouted in my ear. 
How the hell did you know I was here? She shrugged and made herself uncomfortable. You're not the best hider, she teased. Have you... Hey, you deserve that after all... After all, you're the one who started it. If I buy you candy, will you not push me out of the... If I buy you candy, will you not push me out of this tree, I begged? Okay, fine. Do you real? Do you really think I would push you out of this tree? I would never. I mean, never kill my best friend. Duh. I laughed and we both climbed down the tree. I'm glad I got to hear that. She smiled and started walking out of the woods. We got close to the candy store and I spent a good $20.30. 20 dollars on candy. Hey, you want to spend the night tonight? And we can have a sugar high with me? She asked, laughing like a maniac. I laughed and nodded. Okay, stop by your house and get your clothes. No, I shouted. Why, is everything okay at home? She sounded really worried. Sad part is, not everything is good. Yeah. So, is she gonna find out? Find out tomorrow. Friday. I have no school. Since Wednesday. Oh god, I'm tired. <sighs> Alright. Uh, that's it for this video. I probably sound really weird right now, but whatever. Mwah.